Hello all. Today we will discuss about National Leprosy Eradication Program. Earlier it was National Leprosy Control Program and it was a centrally aided program. Early detection of cases and dabs on monotherapy on an ambulatory basis was done at that time. After 4th 5 year plan it was made a centrally sponsored program. Revised strategy based on multidrug chemotherapy aimed at leprosy eradication was started. In 1983, the control program was redesignated National Leprosy Eradication Program. The aim was to reduce case load to 1 or less than 1 per 10,000 population. This is the logo of National Leprosy Eradication Program. Components of the program. First, decentralized integrated leprosy services through general health care system. Two, capacity building of all general health services functionaries. Three, intensified information education and communication IEC. Four, prevention of disability and medical rehabilitation. Five, intensified monitoring and supervision. 34 states by union territories achieved the state status of leprosy elimination. Only two states by union territories with Chhattisgarh and Dadra and Nagar, Nagar Haveli are yet to achieve elimination. Major initiatives taken. More focus to new case detection than prevalence. Two, treatment completion rate as an important indicator to be calculated by states at yearly basis. 3. More emphasis on DPMR services that is Disability Prevention and Medical Rehabilitation Services. ASHAs in bringing out suspected leprosy cases and follow up of confirmed cases for their treatment completion. Intensive information education campaign with a theme towards leprosy free India and early reporting for early reporting of cases and their treatment completion. Also IEC about the provision of quality leprosy services and reduction of stigma and discrimination against leprosy affected persons. Awareness is given through mass media and local media. DPMR services, disability prevention and medical rehabilitation services. Implementation of DPMR activities as per guidelines and reporting its outcome. Example, treatment of leprosy reaction, treatment of ulcers, Physiotherapy, reconstructive surgery and providing MCR footwear. Integrating DPMR services, that is convergence of NLEP services to NRHA, National Rural Health Mission. 3. Referral system to provide prevention of disability services to all leprosy disabled persons in an integrated setup. DPMR services, dressing materials. Supportive medicines and ulcer kits, MCR footwear, reconstructive surgery, rupees 5000 as incentive to each leprosy affected persons from BPL family undergoing reconstructive surgery in identified institutions. Support to government institutions or PMR centers in the form of rupees 5000 per reconstructive surgery conducted. DPMR activities is done through a three tier system. Primary level care, secondary level care, tertiary level care. Primary level care include that is first level include PHCs, CHCs, subdivisional hospitals and urban leprosy centers or dispensaries. Secondary level care, second level include district headquarter hospitals and district nucleus units. Tertiary level care, third level includes central government institutes, ICMR Institute, Jalma, Agra, IELP supported leprosy hospitals, all PMR institutes and departments of medical colleges. Other support units, orthopedics and plastic surgery departments of medical colleges, identified NGO institutions, all national institutes under Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, contractual surgeons skilled in reconstructive surgery and rehabilitation programs. Role of ASHAs Role of ASHAs in bringing out suspected leprosy cases from their villages for diagnosis and treatment at PHC and follow-up of confirmed cases for their treatment completion. They are being paid incentive money. 
incentive money are for rupees 250 for confirm case diagnosis of case brought by the rupees 400 for posi bacillary leprosy case on completion of full course of treatment of the case within specified time rupees 600 for multi bacillary leprosy case with completion of full course of treatment of the case within specified time rupees 250 for early case before onset of any visible deformity rupees 200 for a for detection of new case with visible deformity in hands feet or eye activities to be performed by asha search for suspected cases of leprosy that is before any sign of disability appears follow up of all cases for completion of treatment in scheduled time look for symptoms of any reaction due to leprosy and refer them to the health workers or phc advise and motivate self care practices by disabled cases for proper care of their hands and feet spreading awareness so this is the referral system in national leprosy eradication program subcenter phc district hospital district nucleus reconstructive surgery centers so first in subcenter self care services i advise to reconstructive surgery cases monitoring and referral uh, for the cases of reaction disability and refer to phc in phc manage reactions uh, if possible or refer identify or refer patient needing reconstructive surgery identify patient needing footwear advice to reconstructive surgery cases advice to self care then refer refer uh, referral of cases of lepra reaction difficult to uh, lepra reactions which are difficult to manage complicated ulcer eye problems reconstructive surgery cases persons needing footwear follow up of reconstructive surgery and lepra reaction then they are referred to district hospital in district hospital management of complicated ulcers management of lepra reaction and refer difficult ulcer cases to reconstructive surgery cases also in district nucleus management of lepra reactions and supply of footwear and referral for reconstructive surgery and follow up of reconstructive surgery cases then reconstructive surgery center the reconstructive surgery follow up after reconstructive surgery and supply of footwear to district nucleus case detection and management people are hesitant to come forward to get themselves diagnosed and treated due to stigma associated with the disease detection of the new cases at the early stage is the only solution to cut down the transmission potential in the community and also to prevent disabilities organize skin camps for detecting leprosy patients while providing services for other skin conditions Contact survey to identify the source in the neighborhood of each child or multi bacillary case. Increase awareness through auxiliary nurse, midwife, Asha worker, Asha worker, Anganwadi worker, and other health workers to motivate leprosy affected persons for early reporting to the medical officer. District leprosy cell. A team of dedicated workers including medical officer and paramedical workers are placed at district level and that's called district leprosy cell. There is three pronged strategy introduced in the national leprosy eradication program from 2016 to 2017. Components of the strategy are leprosy case detection campaign, focus leprosy campaign, special plan for hard to reach areas. Then, Spurge Leprosy Awareness Campaign. It was launched in the year 2017 through Gram Sabhas, carried out with the help of Panjayat and Village Health and Sanitation Community. Aim was to generate awareness, reduce stigma and improve self-reporting of the cases. Then, Survey Education and Treatment Scheme, SCT Scheme. NGOs involved in disability prevention and ulcer care Information education, communication and referral of suspected cases, referral for reconstructive surgery, 
research and rehabilitation for follow up of under treatment cases in urban locations and difficult to reach area incentive to patient rupees 8000 to all patients affected by leprosy undergoing major reconstructive surgery payment by the payment is made by the district leprosy officer then information education and communication communication for behavioral changes in general public against the stigma and discrimination against the leprosy affected persons making the public aware about the availability of multi drug treatment correction of deformity through surgery who has announced global leprosy strategy 2016 to 2020 with motto accelerating towards a leprosy free world thank you